Another busy day on the farm in Wales, and there's many mouths to feed. <laughs> of all the animals here on the farm, it's the pigs that are my absolute favourite. It's said that pigs are one of the top ten most intelligent animals on the planet, and I can vouch for that. They're some of the most interesting and comical characters. <laughs> At the moment, our pigs have got the run of the sheep shed while we work on their outdoor enclosure, which we want to get just right. So what I'd like to do is get out there and just see how pigs live in the wild. All our domestic pigs originate from a common ancestor, the wild boar. Once widespread throughout Britain, they were hunted so furiously for their meat that by the 13th century, they became extinct. But now, they're back. Some years ago, a few wild boar escaped from captivity and established healthy populations in forests around the country. They would smell as yards. Here in Cumbria, Peter Gott manages a herd of wild boar within the woodland of his farm. So, Peter, you've had your wild boar here for about 20 years now. Um, legend has it they can be quite ferocious. Have you had any problems? Yeah, the male is particularly aggressive um, if he's cornered right. and also when he's looking after his herd and his territory. With daily checks on his boar, Peter's got a rough idea of where they might be foraging. Here we go, look. They literally hold Finding a couple of fresh footprints is always a good sign. And there's something even more exciting further on. Ah, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> yes. This is a typical wild boar nest and wow. she'll hollow this out and this is where she has her babies. Oh, that's amazing. And of course it's the same at home because the sows at home, just before they have the piglets, will gather all around, bring all the straw in, make a little nest. Um, so the instinct's still there, isn't yeah. it? It's nature's way of, of looking after them in the wood. They're so clever. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean we're going to see piglets? <laughs> mm, good chance. Now this, Peter, <laughs> has to be a wallow, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. I'd even be tempted myself. That's a cracking <laughs> wallow. This is where they literally dig out, water, roll, clean yeah. themselves, and then rub off yeah, on the trees. Yeah, you they be rubbing on the trees. And, and then... the other thing is about pigs is they can overheat very easily, can't they? And they can't sweat. They don't have sweat no, glands. No, there's no such thing as sweat like a pig. That's just a silly <laughs> saying, isn't it? You just can't sweat like a pig at all. <laughs> And as if to prove that point, a huge male boar comes into the wallow for a much-needed cool-down. Oh, wow. Peter, look. Oh, <laughs> finally. Oh, oh, they've got piglets. <laughs> the little one running up there. Listen to that. Although the males are very territorial, the females seem to be fairly relaxed in our company. We just have to be careful not to come between them and their babies. They're absolutely these, gorgeous. These are about three, four weeks old. Some down there literally only born about a week ago. Yeah, and they're stripes. Yeah, like a humbug. <laughs> they are, they're just like little humbugs. They're absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Like the piglets back home, they'll be suckling for the first few weeks until their snouts are strong enough to dig up the roots and acorns, which all wild pigs love. This has made the day for me. It's, it's been brilliant. Um, for me personally, when I go home to the enclosure, I can now look at it. I know, um, I know we're on the right lines. It's reassured me in a way. You know, pigs need company. They need scratching posts. They need a wallow. All these needs, we've actually got there outside for them on the farm and it, it's been such a useful day.